Meteorologist Christy Gordon for a look at our weather forecast. That's snow behind you, Christy. <laughs> I know I had to start this off with uh, the word snow and the picture behind me, which is the upper elevation areas of uh, the Chilliwack Lake area, or sorry, Chilliwack area near Cultus Lake area. So uh, yeah, this is this morning, believe it or not. And we have the potential for snow again, even across the South Coast. So let me show you what's going on. Overall, temperatures have been cool. You well know that. Today's daytime high only reached nine degrees. Typical for this time of year is 14. We're well below seasonal and we've been for many days now. Uh, and it's all because of pools of cold air like this that have been shifting in across the province. We're dealing with one again. That is cold air over higher elevations and it's mixing with this upper level low that is creating these bands of rainfall across the region. But at night or early in the morning when temperatures are cold enough and the freezing levels are low enough, it means the potential for snow over higher elevations. So yes, then we could see that across the south coast and in parts of the interior through the morning hours before you transition to rainfall. And the rain and the snow would be variable. So we're talking about waves on and off, not consistent. These are the areas that have the potential. Certainly the Sea to Sky Highway, higher elevations of the North Shore, same for areas in and around the Chilliwack, certainly up towards Powell River, Campbell River, Port Alberni. Those are the areas that we have the potential for snow, maybe even the Malahat. So a heads up for all you travelers early tomorrow morning. In the meantime, it is the rain is going to be on and off and we have a risk of thunderstorms. So this upper level low creates instabilities. That means the rain will be heavy at times. We even have the possibility of hail and the, certainly the possibility of lightning strikes. That's the case right across South Coast and the interior and the central interior regions. Not much of a warm up as you can see over the next several days. We're hoping for 14 towards the weekend, Sophie, but that's still days away. In the meantime, prepare for some heavy rain tomorrow and cooler conditions. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Christy. Well, Christy, I know April can be temperamental, but... Yes. Mm, it's a little over the top, it feels like. <laughs> I always have to remind people, and because I was talking to my mom, she's like, isn't spring like where you just gradually get warmer towards summer? And I was like, mm, no, it goes like this and like yeah. this. <laughs> and we're on one of those little dips. Yeah, thanks so much, Sophie. The snowfall behind me is what Sophie's referring to. Today, you likely felt it. It was very cool. And this was just outside of the Chilliwack area. Higher elevation, certainly, but Ryder Lake had a little bit of snowfall this morning. And uh, Pat shared us these photos, uh, shared these photos with us. And we have the potential again tonight for parts of the south coast so let me show you nine degrees was our daytime high at yvr typical for this time of year is 14 we're well below seasonal for this time of year and that's the case right across much of the province the reason is the jet stream driving down and around and we've seen these pool of cold air uh, across our region uh time and time again so far this spring uh so it's cold mainly over higher elevations but sort of it, it makes its way down as well and we've got this upper level low that's going to bring in a number of waves of rainfall so it's mainly going to be a rain event for our region, but temperatures will drop down to two, three degrees. So we could see some wet snow over higher elevations just in the early morning hours. And I'll show you which areas could see that, but it comes with a risk of thunderstorms as well. So there's the snow falling for Metro Vancouver or the South Coast area. It's mainly inland of Vancouver Island up towards Campbell River, Powell River, and then up towards Squamish and higher elevations of Metro Vancouver. So there's your forecast for your Tuesday, everyone. A risk of thunderstorms comes with these periods of rain on and off throughout the day. Uh, so keep Keep an eye out for that. We could even see a bit of hail. Daytime highs will reach only 10 degrees. Typical for this time of year is uh, 14. We're going to remain below seasonal for the next several days. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of one of those days, Sophie, where you definitely have to be prepared for anything. And that's sort of what we're expecting this week as well. Tonight's Central Windows Weather Window coming to you from uh, Kamloops Lake. Thank you so much to Steve for that one. It was a beautiful morning. He set up there and they had some nice blue sky. Look at that refraction, refraction, reflection. <laughs> Sorry. It's like a mirror. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Christy. So nice. Okay. It's been 43 years.